five nil. There we go. Here we go then. So this is Vanilla TV bringing you E2 After World Premiership Season 15, sponsored by Blackout Gaming. This is Last Man Standing vs. 94 of Esports. Scully and Beta bring the two airy on the stream. Scully, run us through this first mid of Badlands, my friend. Now at last man standing, they get the advantage, get a really fast mid roll out straight away, and now they've got the piston, they managed to, have to get a bit more pressure. They are actually, they lose Forsaken though, now comes the soldier bomb, the aggression now is in Vinland's favour. Just they, just that early aggression from uh, last man standing did not work, but they are getting the kill. Just a few plays, a little tip for tap right now, there goes Salmon right now, this is an opportunity, they've got to start turning on. White Glow gets taken up for the flank though, so now last man standing is going to do something, it's just Cyclus alive, he's on 34 and he does get wiped out. Yeah, interesting round there, uh, first half. I saw Reco run straight onto the point and actually literally two shot super. No one was there at all. In the end, they run that, won that mid. Um, Cyclis opting to go for the soldier when he was on his own there. Um, maybe would have maybe potentially gone medic. Forsaken's going to go in for the bomb. Up high and wide, takes the first shot onto the medic. Misses the second so close and of course uh, about 40 HP. Not good enough, but LMS needs to pull something out of the bag. But ma has that delayed him enough? I think that's going to be a bit of a delay, but White Glow, let's see how fast he's building right now. It's 45, 47, 50, and they are holding all the way back. Are they holding down into their lobby area? I've lost where they are right now. Yeah, they're holding up at the top lobby area, so they're, be happy. they're going to just give this up right now. Will they go for some sort of lobby hold? No, they are going all the way straight back. Captain Hats gets taken down from some sticky, so they're going to be a man down as well. They're out of position a little bit, as I believe that is. Yep, it's going to be uh, Vinland going in for the push right now. Yeah, they're coming in lower. Uber has already been popped. White Glow gets it in time. So um, Counter Trooper comes in, and who's that soldier that's overextended? Surely that soldier's overextended. It was Forsaken, manages to get back away with these uh, escape plans, uh, cutely named, and they've actually pushed out. They're pushing all the way back out to that the uh, upper lobby area. Nope. Um, no backups going on here. I was just having a look. Scout and Demoman of LMS sitting lower left. You'll notice that high level teams do send out players in different directions and different angles to cover all of these exits. Uh, spy, spy in play. So Draco running spy. <laughs> He's just literally running two soldiers who are trying to push in lower left. Captain Hacks gets caught. Could this see the push? But Koss well, from that damage building fast. And it looks like the scouts want to try and break out. No, they don't. So we're going to have a little bit of steady play whilst they build up the Uber. And there is one team with an advantage. It's got it. Yeah, Reco does want to go spy right now. The advantage is there. But of course, they've not realized that. It's going to be straight on with a dot push right there. Does take down, does take down nobody at the moment. Someone goes down instead. And now the Uber finally comes off the last man standing. Reco's still standing behind him. As a spy, what can he do? I don't know what he's doing right now. The point has, the point is being saved. As they do able to take everyone down, but Koss and Captain Hack. But I don't think it's enough for them to go out and try and contest this point. There is a start, there is a demo man by me. He's trying to get onto this medic. Can he get onto it? No, he's giving it up right there. They do want this second point though. So great defense there. Probably a rush push there from Vinland. It does cost them now, but they are in a good position. They do still have a 10% advantage. So maybe they're just going to hold on right now, and maybe they'll be happy just to wait for uh, Last Man Sandy to do something right now. Yeah, they will do. Uh, most importantly, six players got the front spawns then. Uh, they needed the time on that point a little bit faster, but uh, they couldn't get the players up there. So Cost does have a nice 20% advantage, but LMS sitting back, right at the back of Spire, so they know that advantage, and well, it's going to be gone in just a second. Anything interesting in being played? Um, so here, 90 Sports coming through the house, actually, that's been called. And um, Warho, yeah, gets caught straight away. Are they going to go for that valley? Yes, they are. Forsaken gets caught as well. I thought I heard crits coming in as well. No, it wasn't. It was just still that Uber not being popped just yet. Now the scouts moving up to that spy area, and NMS, quite wisely, from the two early losses, both soldiers have fallen back inside. The control point has oh, been there goes Salmon again. There goes Salmon taken down right now. It's going to be a free capture by the looks of it, which is going to not help. I don't think that's going to help last one standing. Yes, they're going to have Uber for this last push, but they could have really contested that point. Just do something. It's still early games. Just try and test the waters. But uh, they're not running apart. They're going to stick with cookie, cut cook uh, cook cookie Cutter right now, <laughs> and there is nothing really out of the bag it's just gonna be yeah just gonna be the same right there i think they're just gonna be happy to tell this as long as they can and then when they're ready they're ready in fact now they want to go yeah here they come in upper right hand corner from the defensive point of view both uber have been popped straight away reco actually switching to heavy just in case someone did fancy a little bit of a push behind but neither no team losing in fact super does get caught so that's the demo man can lms finally come out reco comes from the lower right as well they've lost three players off the bat 
disastrous push from 90 Esports. The respawn wave is coming in. Look at Salmon, bottom right. Look at Salmon, bottom right, going for the back cap. There is a soldier on there. It's going to be Salmon versus... Um, who is that? Is that Warho? Yeah, on last. But Salmon's so weak. He's going for the escape out. No, it was actually Forsaken. And Forsaken coming out huge and saving it. And they do have that Spire as well. Yeah, I think there was no Salmon could have done there. Out of position. Does get what they... Well, almost just held them off there. That would have been quite a shock if he did cap stop for sake of doing that. But now you look at it and Rake's gone Sniper, which is going to pull off some interesting plays right now. They're not going to realise that for the last moment. In fact, now they're just looking at it. Now comes the Orc shot because he's using the Orb. Misses Ooh. the shot and Rake gets taken down from an aggressive south. That's Reko. That's Reko just being the aggressive scout he is. He takes down Delsic as well. This is the play that we like. This is the play you see from Reko. Likes to just go forward and just be a little bit aggressive. He overextends a little bit, but his rest of his team can back him up with that if he does die, so great play from Reko there, really brings the, uh, the favour in for White Claw and the last man standing. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, going on the aggressive through the house, gets a nice uh, rocket onto Super, but both Ubers have been popped, and in fact, uh, nine to Bob's eSports will have a uh, slight advantage as they now fall back to mid, and all just want to recycle that. I think going to get caught, everyone on him in that front spawn, and he does get taken down. Um, so yeah, they're just a little bit steady play, as you expected, Scully. I was, expecting, I was expecting it to be a little bit more aggressive, a lot more whites at the moment. Look at the soldier just going there. Yeah, I was expecting a bit more aggressive plays, but both teams have been really cautious at the moment, just being a little bit, just waiting for the right moment. Now you can see the spam. This is what I was expecting. A lot of spam coming out from Vinland as they try to do something. They do capture the point, just spamming them out. And you look at the Uber, look at the Uber, there is no advantage for either team, just a measly 5 to 10%. Salmon goes down from that, but can they really do anything on this? Again, the problem is, it's pushing in right now, that's what they've got, to, that's what they're worrying about right now. They're just going to almost try and do the same thing, but they're a soldier down, they can't really spam them out. Record gets taken down from the flank, and the Uber gets popped off straight away. Yeah, nicely held by White Glow as well, they do have a pretty big advantage. One of the soldiers might get caught here, Whoa, yeah, it does get a massive shot onto him. Soldier jumps back over to try and deal some damage. It was Captain Hacks, but he doesn't do anything. Just defends that point ever so slightly longer as the uh, Vinland team now fall out. And can LMS carry this momentum? They want to carry and get through the choke point before there is any defense there. And they have. Of course, Super still down at the moment, only respawning now. There's a scout already on Spire, but hold that fort. There is a back cap. Um, it's going to be Rake versus Reko, and Rake and Del Zeke versus Reko. They will get that back cap. Look at that back out right now. What are the scouts? That's Delsic going into the spawn right now. They're going to have to contest. They've got to contest it. The scout is the medic there. White Glow there with him. This is lethal right now. They're going to lose up the midpoint because that's wow. a nice little pipe there onto Ray. A little bit lower there. Comes White Glow cool. straight away. He takes him down. Just a little bit indecisive play. Why was White Glow there with Mighty Me trying to stop two net, two scouts? Just don't get that play. They came back to stop the back cap, I think. Yeah, but and why, they just got but why are you medic? Why are you medic? The thing is though, the thing is, think of it this way, if they'd stayed and capped the Spire, then it would have been way out of position for this. So now at least they've got a chance of defending last with Reko going Spy, but it's all done, my friend, and they're gonna, it's not going to be enough, I don't think. They're going to come in upper lobby and then take us through this Reko, final push oh, and maybe 1-0. Reko, have they noticed? They know they have noticed the Uber gets finally pushed off right away. They take down Reko straight away. The Uber has come off, not much happening because they've all retreated to the spawn. They're just going to stand on to this point. They lose to Captain Hack from the Sticky Trap right there, and they're losing over from Mighty Me. Mighty Me's just been there. Soldier jumps in again. It was Mighty Me actually hiding above the point. Did not see oh, that, so man. his Sticky place does actually catch them. I don't think they knew where he was. He was almost like an invisible person there. Yeah, disastrous push for Vinland there. I haven't seen him push that bad in a while. That should, that should have been an easy... Uh, easy uh, one point on the board right there but it's, it, it doesn't matter now they've got to just try and get back into the game for second goes down and try to over extending rake also sniping from that choke point um uh, through mid and they've actually pushed him behind him so rake's gonna go down here as well um super's caught as well so demo man and scout down three four players down for um vinland at the moment it's only captain hacks is on his spire he probably gonna go in for the bomb i'm just trying to find where Koss is who's Currently at, on last, he's actually building on last, and watch out for Captain Hacks. He's gonna have to go in for the bomb. He's actually in the house. He has been called, and if they, if if LMS push in now, um, they're gonna be up one player because Captain Hacks is not there. Yeah, they've got to look at trying to push this right now. You could see both scouts trying to stop Captain Hacks. That's a great smart play there from the scouts, taking down Captain Hacks. And now they're definitely gonna be a player up. But the problem is they can see there's a pirate right there. So it's Rake playing the pirate. What is he gonna do? This is going to really limit their option probably to a scout rush with the Uber. In fact, they actually want to go underneath. Going to go straight underneath, try and jump up. One jump fails, but they do take down 
Uber gets traded off straight away. Reco gets taken down, and we see Whitefell out of position right now. This is going to be bad for the, for the last man standing. Do get taken out right there. They are out of position there. Just could not get the players, and then the Uber came off. I don't think they counted that Uber very well. Now again, disastrous push onto the last. That is not oh, the first we've seen of the night. And that was basically a uh, full wipe, just the respawns coming in. Six players get the uh, front spawns, including Forsaken, who spawns right now. Um, just a bit of gap in play while we look at the damage. Uh, so Mighty Me, 4,000 damage at the moment as Captain Hacks gets caught again. Um, LMS recapturing mid. Mighty Me leading away with Warho, yet yeah, about 500, 600 below him. So um, LMS putting out the damage. Um, first two contenders and I'm just interested to see who's going to get his first point on the board. This could be the demotivating part of this match really. A lot closer than I thought it's going to be and my scoreline is looking like a joke. Oh, they've lost Forsaken there. He went for the soldier, he went for the medic pick there and they've also lost Mighty Me as well. So for the look of it, they're going to have to try and walk out of this. So losing those players right now, they're going to have to back out and not contest it. But this is the smart play from both teams. There's no one going in trying to make a force or anything. They've lost two players straight away and they just stay back. And look, Captain Hack gets down straight away. Vinland can't do anything. So at the moment, Sickless gets there. No team could do anything because they're constantly losing players and going a bit aggressive. So maybe the aggression is just not working for either team at the moment as we are seeing that it's Vinland now trying to go for a push. Yeah, LMS sitting back by that trash can area. Soldier comes high and wide above him. Trying to get out of White Goat and he does get it out. Try to hold on as long as possible. There is a back cap going on, Scully. You keep an eye on that. Looking like LMS is going to hold on to it and Vinland decides to go back and clear it up, um, which they do. So we're going to have another recycle and another 0-0 another zero zero at the moment. This is Vanilla TV bringing you LMS versus 95 Esports. This is E2F12 Premiership Season 15 powered by Blackout Gaming. This is the first map with 18 minutes remaining and now you can see LMS trying to clear out this midpoint three players down for Finland at the moment including um, both soldiers and the demo man the damage dealers have gone but the scouts of um, Finland just going to work right into LZ doing massive damage and they've countered it so and finally LMS clearing the point but Super gets the spawn and this is going to be a close one going to be a close one. I don't think they'll be able to go for anything contra second at the moment, but at the same time, they'll be happy just to stay back. White Glow's got 80%, so they'll get ready to build the Uber. They'll go in with the Uber, try and see how far they can go in. Maybe a free cap. I doubt that Vinland will let them. They want to go through the house area right now. Are they looking to go through the uh, the valley? Yeah, they want to go through valley right now. So this is what they want to do. Try and capture the valley. Try and get some people up. Captured by surprise. Now comes the Uber straight away. They take down Delsing with the Uber. Not many people out the way. Salmon and Captain Hacks goes take down there. Reco's doing work yet again. They have the numbers on to the point, but at the same time, look at Koss. He's got 50%. I don't think they can be aggressive, but they are being aggressive. They lose Warhol yet, though, at the same time. Uh, White Glow went from a, a Uber Saw and Super. He could have gone back into spawn there. This could be disastrous for us. The scouts are chill defending. Many comes in as well. Gets the Uber Saw, but doesn't get his Uber. The remaining two soldiers and scout come in to clear it up. So LMS had a good chance there. Maybe if they'd recycled and taken their time. But again, another t push and another failure onto last for <laughs> both of these teams so far. Crit Creek, I knew this was coming. I was going to say, like, White Glow hasn't had a chance to go Crit Creek because he's been alive for so long. Now they want to try with the Ubers down. Look, the soldiers oh. trying to go with them. Captain had to get taken down. They got Crit Creek right now. Look, they've got 60% already. They're going to walk into the. They're going to walk into the lobby. Make it safe for them. Make it safe. They're ready to go in. Get Forsaken, get Mighty Me, sorry, on the stickies. Not the better demo man, Mighty Me, really, when you think about it. When you've got, um, there are, who's the other demo man for them? I can't remember the top of my head. But they have got the crit streak, and I think this could be the gate, this could be the round for them if they get this crit streak off. Crits are in, crits are in. Poro rebounds the first two crits. Now the crits do nothing, only finally summon call, but two scouts rush the point, and it's 1 0 to LMS. 1 0. Regardless if the crits didn't do anything, the distraction worked, and it is 1 0. And it's 16 minutes left, and uh, quickly have a look at the damage again. So top damage again, might have been Warhol, yet yeah, just leading the way, um, both with 419, and, sorry, 6k and uh, 4k, such a long round, and round two coming at you, and Scully take us through again this second mid fight. Salmon gets taken out straight away. They picked off Salmon being the aggressor. He could not do anything. And then Delzik tries to be a bit aggressive. He gets taken out. So the number advantage is in favor of last man standing. And Super gets out of position, gets caught. So Koss will hold on to this. I'm just seeing it's going to be stick with Medigun right now. Yeah, White Glow sticking with Medigun as, as Sickless cannot get the bomb. Who is that trying to chase down? That is Forsaken well out of position. And Miami comes up and takes down Rake. So it is a, technically a wipe. And they're basically in the lobby already before Seconds captured. 
Yeah, this could be a great out round. Warhead, yes, already on last. They need a demo man to come sticky and help them out. Um, Ubi is popped to try and just clear out the point. Three spawners coming in. Um, Super goes down. Surely going to be 2 0. And it is 2 0. Fantastic fast round. Exactly what I was on about. The momentum and the. Uh, What's the word? Just the spirit is gone from maybe the Vinland team from losing that first round and looking like LMS are in the ascendancy. Momentum and morale's gone. We had a 15 minute round and then all of a sudden almost like a 50 second round there. Can they keep up with this right now? Vinland just need to recycle their game, try and think of something different. And I see Koss is far ahead, but he's Ooh, not Fritz Creek, but I was quite surprised. Wreck does get taken down at the same time Forsaken. This could be the advantage they need right now. They've even taken down Sickless. Captain Hacks with a double. There goes Warhead, yeah, so they do have the numbers right now. Reco 1 HP, Survivor 1 HP. Where is he? He's mad, he does get taken down. White Glow and Mighty Be are the only two up left, and let's see how they let's see if Vinland want to be aggressive on this, and they do. Yeah, they do have Salmon's already in through the low lobber area behind them as they come back through trash can. Mighty Me coming out massive on Salmon. Salmon will not be happy with that. But it doesn't matter, his team still do capture that spy and midpoint. White Glow would have been a uh, good kill there, but look at Forsaken! He's just walked up to Koss and force the Uber, counter Uber coming in as well. So, in fact, the, all the advantage that Vinland have gained, it's not going to work. But will Mighty Me get caught here? <laughs> Looking like he will be, but uh, no, he won't. This boy seems to stay alive forever. They've not pitched at the, not captured the soldier at the top right down. there. Who's the soldier? Oh yeah, just standing on the middle on the on the spire all the time, and no one just wanted to take it. So you basically had a turret firing rockets from above. Did not help them right now. Salmon's just scored. No, he's just going to go for a bomb. Can't get anything. Gets taken down. So basically that was a really a wipe. sloppy play. Yeah, really sloppy play there from uh, from Vinland. Yeah, basically a wipe again for Vinland. Um, not what they want to be happening. Let's just have a look. So 13 minutes left. If you have just joined us, this is Vanilla TV's Scully and Beta bringing you the commentary tonight with Airy on the stream. It's up to our Premier Ships uh, Division Season 15, sponsored by Blackout Gaming. Just watching Salmon get caught for the Vinland on 90 Bob Esports team. Um, sniper back right for trash can. That must be Rake and goodbye Rake. You're going to get caught from Forsaken's rocket launcher. Back cap. There is a back cap. I've only just noticed that Mighty Me comes in to block it. It's a soldier and scout. Uber's Mighty Me to block it and the scout runs away. But he's still floating around the medic. Takes a massive pipe from Mighty Me. Well played to that scout and soldier because that's probably just saved the round. I don't think so because they couldn't commit to the Spire at the same time. Only one person commit to the Spire. Spire got taken and Sickle the Forsaken tried to be a little bit aggressive. The Uber there from White Glow is the only thing he could have done so they've lost their advantage. But at the same time, they know that Vinland can't really push out on this. Because they're not in position. But they do want to push out on this. How late are they popping the Uber when they popped it now? White Glow taking out straight away. The aggression from Salmon there does take them down. Is he going to keep going with that? Can't go any further. He's bullied them out enough from the point. So surely they will be able to... Hang on. Hang on. No. The back cap. Did not notice the back cap. Wow. That surprised me. Yeah, we were following the action on Spire. Back cap 3-0 the score. Um, this is looking like my scoreline prediction could still come true, my friend. So... Um, uh, I think uh, I will definitely be able to drink if I get this right. Let's follow Mighty Me onto the point this time. Going for the exact mirror of Super into the house. Uh, Mighty Me then switching up to try and sticky out that, that house on the far left hand side. LMS not in a good position here. They probably want to get out. Soldiers come jumping onto um, White Glow. He does take him down. So Salmon takes down White Glow. They almost start walking backwards before. But look at Cyclist. Destroyed by Del Zeke and Rake finishing off Reco as well. Almost basically a wipe. It's only going to be Mighty Me again, who's still alive. <laughs> Del Zeke craters as well. But Mighty Me has to be careful not to get caught here. If Mighty Me goes down, they almost could give up the second point and probably last as well. Just want to see what uh, White Glow's going to run right now. I think it is just standard Medigun. Yeah, quite interesting to see that when they're up, he decides to play it passively with a Medigun. When they're down, he does decide to be the aggressor with that crit screen. And you can see how defensive they want to be right now. They are building a sentry gun with the two engineers right now. Building the sentry gun with no, with basically a huge disadvantage on Uber. That's a safe player right now. So what's the other scout going to do once he does that? Possibly a pyro. But I don't know. Maybe how they have to play a scout. But they are losing this right now. Costco's in. They finally take down the sentry gun. It was in a bad position. Scouts are going to run to the point. Not notice Mighty Me. Mighty Me gets taken them out. He's still hiding up there, like in the last defense for them, and he's just able to take them down. Yeah. Someone had to take the hit. The scout went in, and took the hit. Uh, Rake took the hit, trying to make way for his demo. Didn't work. 
Lost four players on that push as now LMS can recapture that Spire. A bit of a deathmatch going on that far right hand side valley. A soldier with a white glow, I believe it was uh, forsaken. Look at and Spire. Sorry, Rake's right, yeah, spy. He yeah, he is. He's right below now. the bridge. Yeah, he's below the bridge. Just following Rake then, disguised as enemy scout. Um, it's <laughs> oh, he put, <laughs> over the Uber. he put the Uber to save him. He must have saved, wanted to save my to me. I'm not really sure what forced it, but Vinland's on the aggressive and they're on Spire at the moment and Rake's pretty much used it. But will he get a scab of White Go? White Go going for the Uber Sword, gets the Uber Sword, gets two Uber Swords. Um, but was he still disguised? Surely not. No, he I was still he was disguised. He was healing. He was actually being healed by White Glow. I saw oh. the healing particles right there. They do take down Delzip right now, so I'm not exactly sure what caused the force there. But at the same time, White Glow does have 70%, and Cost is still not healing. So middle point is theirs right now, and maybe they'll be able to just use his Uber to go on to last as well, uh, to go on to second as well. Just looking, Rake. Rake really needs to pick up a sniper rifle right now. He just needs to get some sort of advantage. They need just one play that's just going to turn the morale around because. 3 0 down, it's not looking good for Vinland. Yeah, we're watching NMS now coming in the left hand side. Um, Forsaken treating the match like a uh, jump map at the moment to jump all the massive back cap going on. Absolute massive back cap. They must have just walked through Spire. This is going to be so close. Oh, but they get it, NMS, get it. And Delsey came in for the block and got absolutely destroyed. This is going to be 4 0 with 8 minutes remaining. Yes, there we go, 4 0. And oh wow, that is, now that is demoralizing, my friend. That is demoralizing. They all pushed through Choke, and last man standing was standing inside the house and were pushing Valley. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, how can you not keep your eyes on? Like, we always talk about the scouts that gotta hold the flanks, did not hold the flanks there, and that cost them again. Yeah, so interesting call. Whoever said, let's just all go through Choke. Big risk, big play, didn't work. Watching Stamina again, going high and wide just to try and get through that choke point. Scout on him, Reiko finishes him off. And Koss has no one to heal at the moment, but 90 Esports uh, just uh, very aggressive. Do manage to cap it out. LMS surely going to rotate back in here. Um, surprised they didn't. I guess, um, well, that's an interesting call. Both soldiers from uh, Vinland down, Captain Hax and Salmon. Neither of them went in. Scout does try and come through to try and get on Forsaken. But here we go, so now Forsaken onto the Medic, of course, massive rocket, Koss is so weak, will someone come in and try and finish him off? Uber's in, Uber's in, and uh, both Ubers are in, and Salmon jumping right through the battle to try and get some time on Spire, and LMS doing their best to try and block off, but it hasn't worked, and this is a much better round from uh, 90 Esports. Much better round from Vinland, but also at the same time, very sloppy from Last Man Standing. They had a chance to go in for that. They just really wasted that, so I don't understand why they went in, but at the same time, oh, they've lost Forsaken. Maybe at the moment there's a rush right in. Maybe Vinland's playing a lot of aggression right now, because this, this is very aggressive play from them right now. They don't have the Uber advantage. They are trying to go in for this. They just want to get this. Who is that right now? That's Super going in. Is it the bait for Delsi? Delsi does yeah, get the scout. point! Wow! So Scout versus Reko. Reko is the only one that clocked it and came into block. It has not worked, so they do have a point on the board. 4-1 the score, six and a half minutes remaining. Let's have a look at the damage, the last damage output that round. Super, 14.06. That's over double of the nearest player, Reko. 6.02. This is the sixth round coming at you, and Scully, take us through this next one. Let's just see what they're going to do right now. Yet, yet again, there's no crispy coming out, which is quite amazing. The soldier bomb comes straight on the last man standing. It's not going to happen. Captain has just taken down. And at the same time, Forsaken gets taken down. But there goes Super right now. Last man standing. Looks to be in a better position right now. If they can just hold on. They've got the Medic in the same position. But Ray comes behind. Take down White Glow. Take down War. Is he going to take now? Delta's going to steal his triple. The scout play there really just came out clutch. There, great play from Rake. Yeah, wipe from LMS. And maybe this scoreline will end up 5-2 like Beta predicted beforehand. You said 5-3. No, I didn't. I said 5-2. Shut your face. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, so uh, this was obviously just capping that um, mid and obviously capping that spy relatively uncontested. Crits Creek from Koss, Crits Creek from Koss. Um, seeing what White Glow is running, and uh, no, he is not running crits. He's gone Uber, SG Gun, a level 3, top right hand side though, so that will counter the crits, so good thinking maybe. Let's see how this crits works. That is now coming in a lower lobby area. 90% forsaken running sniper as well. So watch out for that. Maybe that force the early crits a little bit worrying. He's sitting at back right with that reskinned AWP sniper rifle. 
Scully takes through this crit push. I was going to say, they have seen the soldiers going to jump straight away. He's actually jumped on crits top of the point right now. The crit comes in. It's a bait for them. The stamina rate takes down a couple kills. There goes Ray. It's in the pyro stay in a live round. Uh, Kalanak gets a couple. Uber the Uber. Down. Uber. White goes on his own and he gets the Ubersaw. But there's no one alive for him. He is going to die because they're all up in 10 seconds. A brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. He's still alive. There he goes. Great play, but no one alive, which is such a shame. 5 2. Call it a comeback, maybe? 4 2. 4 2, my friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you listen to me too much, wait. Right. Yeah, four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes. We won't look at the damage again, but I'm pretty sure. Well, we'll look at it quickly. Rake 917, Delzik 792. So it's all gone in favour of Pov Esports the last few rounds, as the scoreline shows it as well. Again, much better positioning from the 94th Sports team. And um, Koss running crits still, by the way. Koss is still running crits. Three players down for the 94th Sports team, though, as Forsaken now comes in to Koss. One rocket fires him away, going for the escape plan. Super comes in to protect him. So, LMS in losing Ray, players Ray. all over the shop. Uh, look at Ray. Oh, oh, he gets, gets it in the Super Score as well. He's got 23 health. Is he gonna, he's, he's running away. He could go in and take that. I don't understand. They're gonna hold this on right there. Brilliant play there from White Glow. I mean, if it falls to steel there, I don't know what happened, but they lost that. The aggression early on was fantastic by um, Vinland. Couldn't capitalize it though. Oh, look at this. They don't know they're there right now. Is he at the force? He's got the force right there. Trying to make a force. Does get nothing. Reckon gets taken down on the flank. White Glow still hasn't popped. And now Forced both it. movement get exchanged at the same time. It's crits, my friend. Cool. Crits, yes. crits versus Uber. Um, crits are going to do nothing. Super does get taken down. But it looks like LMS are losing the players here. They probably want to fall out. Forsaken still up top on his spire on his own. Be interesting if they want to try and get some pressure onto Koss here because he is running crits. They will be able to get that quicker. Maybe Forsaken sink back and Rake says no, thank you very much. I will eat you up for breakfast. White glow so weak. White glow down. Salmon capturing the point. Four free to score. Three minutes left. Come on, Vinland. All right, all right. White glow. I'm surprised. Okay. I'm just looking at White Glow because I thought he would go crits. This is the opportunity for him just to turn it around and go crits. But this White Glow White Team E combination isn't that good as the White Glow Forsaken combination when it comes to Crits Creek. Still going to stick with it though, and I believe Cost is also going back to Medicum as well. So they've got the early advantage right now, but they lose Mighty Me, being too aggressive and also Forsaken. They're going to have to back out right away, and indeed they are finally. So they're just going to lose that. But they, they take down they take down Salmon, but the damage is already done way too early. Wait. Yeah, I'm just watching Cyclist at the moment, waiting in house, trying to get in. Ah, oh, he's been called. I think he's just going to go in for a sneaky, uh, sneaky pick on to Cost, but hasn't worked. Cost 80 percent, um, as he's called it, just running that regular Uber. Um, and 90 Esports not hanging around, capping that spy straight away. Really want to go in through the, the lower entrance without even uh, giving them a chance. Uber has been popped. Great hold by White Glow. That is like a 30% advantage there. And they're now trying to cut off some of these players. There is time on point. They'll seek the scout. Someone needs to keep an eye on that. Super does get caught. Another scout comes jumping in as well. So that's turned some heads as 90 Sports rotate back in upper left corner. And Greco's onto the soldier now of Salmon. And they are going to have to fall out and recycle. This could be a good chance of equaling it. Let's take their time and have another go at it in just a minute. I don't think it's a good time to get time onto second right now. Last man standing, they've got to be passive right now. With 136, and they can afford to be passive and force a golden cap instead of losing a point and then getting whipped again. So, this is what they need to do right now just stay passive. I think they're trying to go lobby hold and do like the lobby hold idea. They don't have the people in position to do that. They need to park the bus right now. And I'm just looking to see there's the scat over extending that is Nicholas. Not what they need right now, but White Glow's got the Uber as well. Point time is on the point right now. The Uber gets popped off right there, but Cost doesn't have any behind the point. Need to get focused down, does get taken down. They are able to hold this right now. Where's the rest of the players right there? There is a scout onto the point, does get taken down. That is super. It's like there, and Captain Hack is high up. Captain Hacks is high up right now. They're just going to focus it down. Does they take him down? 57 seconds right now. And I believe there's only enough time for one more push. But Cost is running Uber, so not exactly sure they'll get it in time. No, Rake's gone spy as well. Interesting choice. Um, he was very close. Cost was very close. So interesting how this is going to uh, work out. Watching Delzik, the scout, upper left corner. Cyclist running. Pyro, Reco running heavy as well. Full on defense at the moment as they continue to still build. They need to come in regardless. Soldier does jump a point, goes up on top. Warrior comes down into block. Mighty Me needs to get some stickies on there to try and help them out. 
Um, but where is Super? They need some other stickies from him as well. Pyro blocking it. 15 seconds left. Where is Rake? Um, Scully, where is Rake? He's up there. He's, he's, up there. he's now coming in behind. Gonna try and take that money. Me. That wasn't a back snap. Come on, that wasn't a back <laughs> Gonna run to the point. Oh. It's there. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds. It's not enough. It's gonna be golden. It's gonna be the win. Wow. That was a way to Uber. Brilliant hold there from last man standing. He needed to take the Uber off him there, you know? Yeah. I think he, I think you're right. I think, I think hold off the Uber and that probably could have helped. That probably would have won it, you know. Oh dear. So four three to score then. This is Bean Vanilla TV bringing you Last Man Standing versus 95 Esports with Scully and Peter Airy on the stream. That was the first map of balance. Gully Wash is to come up. We are gonna take a really quick cheeky break. Unless Scully wants to carry on talking while I get a glass of water.